What's up you guys, it's Jacob. Welcome back to my channel. I first just wanna start off this video with thanking everyone who has taken the time to subscribe and watch my videos. I am now up to 166 subscribers, which is so mind blowing. Back at the beginning of March, I literally tweeted that my goal was to hit 100 subscribers by the end of March and I surpassed that. I'm now closer to 200 subscribers than 100, which is to me, pretty crazy to think about. So if you have taken the time to watch any of my videos and subscribe, I really appreciate it literally from the bottom of my heart so much. It's crazy. <laughs> Hopefully we can just start building a little family here, have a fun, weird, fucked up, crazy time together. That's kind of my whole purpose of this is to give everyone a home. <laughs> you know, a place to be. Now that I am done being inspirational, let's get into this video. Today we are going to be opening mystery boxes that I have bought from Etsy and I bought one from Depop because I found this girl on TikTok and I really wanted a mystery box from her. This is all of them. I guess I did spend all of my own money on these mystery boxes. These companies and brands have no idea who I am. I really hope that I get some good things because I have literally no idea what I ordered. All of them are still in the packaging and sealed. I'm going to open those up today with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fully get into this video and start opening these and seeing what the fuck I spent my money on. The first one I'm going to open is this one from Etsy. I believe this one is stickers. I think I got a sticker. I think I got a sticker mystery bundle. So let's go ahead. Maybe I should get scissors. Oh, also, if you're interested in any of these mystery boxes i'm going to link everyone down below in the description box and also i'll put a little picture of their account here because if we get good shit you might want to buy something from them <laughs> whoa how cute okay so the oh my god there's like a lot of there's a oh, look it has my name on it how cute oh my god i'm so excited to see what's in here so the first thing that fell out of this box was this little pin and the name is Shark Design. This pin is so cute. I hope you're able to see that. My goodness, this pin is adorable. I have no idea what the fuck it is, but it is so cute. Focus, you bitch. Oh my goodness, look at it. Uh, and this is a nice pin. And I love the little card. Oh, perfect. That is their social media information. As you can see, this pin has two little thingies, so it's going to be super secure as well, so you're not just going to fucking drop it off when you're walking through Walmart. You're off to an amazing start. The next thing I got in the mystery box was this little print. I hope you can see it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And it's even signed. Yeah, short, sure, fuck it, you can see it. This print is so cute, and this is a nice print. I like the paper that it's on. Oh my goodness. This Don't they... Don't these little things remind you of like the littlest pet shop? Wow, so far with this first mystery box, we are definitely two for two. And then again, there is a little envelope that has my name on it. And that's just so cute. I love how personalized it is. Oh my goodness, look at this packaging. How fancy. Oh my God, there's more pins. Oh my God, there's more pins. I thought I was getting stickers. Oh cute, a little business card. Oh my God. There's, there's so much. There's a little card in here that says, Hi Jacob, thank you for supporting my little shop. I hope you enjoy your mystery bag, Haley. Haley, <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god, the fact that you took the time to just write a little personal letter is so cute. And honestly, there is so much in here. Whoa, this business card is nice. So everything came in like these little blue bags. This is only the first mystery box. And if these other mystery boxes, like I opened this one first. So I was like, oh, it's just going to be like stickers. Look at this pin. Do you see this? It says sourpuss and there is the cutest little cat on it. There's this one and it's a little dolphin and I think a cat. And it says best friends. Yeah, this poor dog got beat the fuck up. One size fits all and it's a fucking knife. <laughs> And then it literally came with another one and it is filled with stickers. We have this one. I think that's like their little logo. It's like a little tie-dye shark. I have no idea what the fuck this is. 
like no idea what the fuck that is but it says long on it and it's very unique and different this one's cute this is a nice little halloween one it says you do you it says boo um this is me it says do it later and it's a little sloth it says if it fits i sit look at those little cat oh my god look at those eyes stickers are the absolute cutest things that i've ever fucking seen i am obsessed let me see how much this box was because it was not a lot and I got a lot of shit. Yeah, so this box was $15. That This is a lot of stuff. So I got five pins. One, two, three, four, six stickers and a print. So far, I'm going to give her a motherfucking 10 out of 10. And if you like supporting small businesses, small artists, you should definitely go check out her Etsy shop. Super impressed with that mystery box. She set the fucking standard high for the rest of these so these motherfuckers better not flop okay and they better not flop don't fucking play with me next i know what this well i mean i know what it is but i don't know what's in it this one is a 90s mystery box packaged really nicely so let me specify let me specify 90s girl goodie box so let's go ahead and let's open this right on up again this is from etsy lots of stuff in here oh my god okay so first do you remember these bracelets these little jelly bracelets love it. i wonder if they still even fit i'm probably gonna break it oh no it fits wow okay so i'm gonna put these on then in this box we got some cute little erasers they're all little heart shapes and they have little smiley faces on them back in like 90s early 2000s erasers were the shit Everyone had an eraser collection, right? Or is that just me because I'm weird? Oh my god, I used to love these things. And it's a little lizard. So it's a little lizard and it's made out of like beads. I wonder if she made this. I used to be so obsessed with these things and I always wanted to make them, but I never understood how to. <gasps> wow. Mm, what a throwback. I used to sit with all the girls at recess while they made these and I could never partake. <laughs> oh, of course, we got some classic little butterfly clips. My YouTube beauty guru moment is really coming. She is beauty, she is grace. You remember these, the fruit, oh my God, it's upside down. The fruit stripes gum, oh my goodness. This used to be my favorite gum as a child. It loses flavor in like five seconds, obviously, but they used to have like the wrapper used to have like tattoos on them. I wonder if they still do. Let's open it up and take a look. They still have tattoos on them. I'm gonna do another one at the end of the video because I don't want a tattoo on my tongue for the remainder of this. I got a nice little friendship bracelet. Now these, not like this. I used to be able to make friendship bracelets, but mine were janky. Heart stickers. These are like literally like what you'd put on like your Valentine's Day growing up. These little things. There's Lisa Frank stickers. Lisa Frank used to be the shit. I don't know what these are. These are like photo cards from Pocahontas. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've never had these before, but cute it's very nostalgic but this is definitely something that you're not going to get much use out of so this would definitely be like a cute little stocking stuffer just like thinking of you again all of the information will be linked down below for her etsy this is the one that i am most excited for in case you didn't know in case you didn't know i love ariana grande okay i love her. So I found this TikTok account and she makes like Ariana Grande kind of Polaroid stuff like that. She makes like Ariana Grande stuff. And I messaged her and I was like, hey, can you make me a mystery box? And she was like, yeah. So the first thing that was in kind of like the bottom of the bag, it was like this little laminated heart that says needy. Oh, and look at this packaging. It even says to Jacob. Aww. So let's go ahead and open it okay so this is what we're working with so i see some photos i see some dollars so let's oh my god there's a lot in here wow if you like ariana grande you're gonna love this if not just skip sweet like candy dollar wow and these are double-sided so i'm gonna look at it from the other end this is so cute orange one that has ariana and like the nasa suit positions one love this photo and this one's yellow and has little positions flower on it how cute another positions one love the color of this in that photo so much Ooh, a cloud one which is is also my favorite perfume by her. God is a woman. Yes, she is, sweetie. God is a motherfucking woman. Iconic, dangerous woman. Make me feel like a dangerous woman. Got a motive one, and there's literally Doja Cat on it. And then we have yours truly. 
really fun to have as like an Ariana Grande collector, an Ariana Grande fan. So the first thing in there was all this money. I'm fucking rich. Look at these. So this first one is for Sweetener, obviously. It has like all of the track listing and her, and these photos look really nice. And the next one is Stuck With You. I got two little, they literally look like receipts and it has all of these songs on it in their track time and has like the item total, card holder, Ariana Grande. That is really neat. So I got the Positions one and I also got a Sweetener one. I got a lot. I don't I don't know what these are. I think these are just, they're not like stickers or anything. They're just like little laminates. One is from her single boyfriend. This is from the Positions photo shoot. We have a 34-35 music video one. We have an Ariana selfie. A little breathing quote. And, oh my god, look at this. Look, it's a little 34-35 lollipop. Okay, so there's only a few... <laughs> Bitch. This is a big photo from the 3435 music video. She looks stunning. And then, oh my god. <sighs> she looks gorgeous. This photo is very nice quality and it's laminated. And the last thing, which is literally the <sighs> literally the cutest thing. Next are these two little Polaroids. And this one, this would be so cute to put in my phone case. It's Ariana with oh my god, I'm trying. It's Ariana with the pride flag. <laughs> this person either is very accepting of the LGBT community or she knew I was gay. I just put everything back in the package until I figure out a way to display everything. But honestly, that box was so cute and, and everything was very high quality. I'm not mad at that box at all. Last one. Oh, the box is a little cracked, but that's okay. So what this is, this is a, I believe, Japanese snack box and kind of just different treats. So it says, thank you, Jacob. Thank you so much for supporting our small business. We truly hope you enjoy all the yummy snacks we picked out for you. Please accept this free snack as a token of our appreciation and help leave this box review if you enjoy it. Of course, I already left a review before I even opened it. I know that's probably bad of me, but I... I don't know. I just give everyone five star reviews. There's like a bunch of stuff in here. So sadly, I'm not going to be trying it in this video because I want this to be a separate video on its own. So this is just Pocky. I've heard of that. I know we sell that here. And it looks like a, it looks like a hamburger bun, but they're like hard. Like they're not soft. This feels like a piece of chocolate maybe. This one kind of freaks me out, but I'm going to guess that it's pineapple. Maybe like a jello. At first I thought this was a Twinkie from like this view. But it's not. It's kind of more like cracker things. So fuck. I have no idea what these are. These look like french fries. But I'm going to guess that they're hot. Because there's like flames and a pepper on it. While editing this video I realized that that is in fact not a pepper. But it is a fucking lobster. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Wow, Ooh, I'm excited for this. This looks good. It's a choco pie. Do you see that? And then there's a bunch of little things like chocolate shake candy, little these, little... I don't know what that is. What the thing? A little lollipop? It's Oh, okay candy. This candy is just okay. And this one looks like a little pack of laundry detergent. <laughs> yeah, so... The 90s girl box was $7, and then with shipping it was $10.76. And this, this whole box of candy was only $15, which is not bad, and that's with shipping. So again, I am going to be doing a completely separate video with tasting those candies if they're, because I probably won't be able to get through all of them. If there are certain candies that you want to see, definitely comment those down below, and I would love to make sure that I include them if there's anything that you are interested in, so I can make sure that I eat it. Guys, I am so impressed with everything that I got. I was very nervous because ordering a mystery box, you can literally fuck yourself over and just give someone a free money. Like, I literally could have just gotten fucking the clothespins and I can't be mad because it's a mystery box. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. And so if you haven't checked out my small business haul, you definitely should. It was the last video that I posted. It was super fun to make and I love supporting small businesses, especially during this time. So if you want to support a small business, you should definitely go check out my last video and it has some pretty cool products in there that I think you might be interested in. But I hope you enjoyed this week's video and again, please let me know what candy you would like me to try from that box. This way I can make sure that I include it because I probably won't include me trying every candy because 
that's a lot. But I just want to thank you so much again for watching this week's video. I really, really appreciate it more than you will ever know. And hopefully we can just create a little supportive family where we all just love and accept each other and we're all just decent fucking human beings because sometimes that is hard to come across. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. You can share it to all of your socials if you would like. Thank you so much again for watching this week's video. It was so fun to film and I'm glad that I was able to support some more small businesses. But with that, I will see you next week. So bye guys.